Hello and welcome back to another episode of Geek with Glasses Live. On today's video, I'm going to do a pretty cool video for you. I am going to bring you a first look at Windows 8 gaming performance. So what I have here is Windows 8 uh, RTM, which stands for Release to Manufacture. So this is actually the version of Windows 8 that will be shipping on October 25th for consumers. This uh, I, I have this because I have an MSDN subscription, so I went ahead and installed it. I wanted to see if there was going to be any major differences between you know gaming platforms of Windows 7 and Windows 8. So I went ahead and and installed Windows 8 on my system and installed uh, most of the games that I play regularly to give a try and see you know if there was any major performance changes and uh, you know there's been a lot of under the hood changes to Windows 8 um, and of course this new uh, user interface which used to be called Metro UI is now being called Windows 8 UI but it's you know it's all based on the live tiles like we got used to seeing with Windows Phone and it's actually kind of cool but we'll, we'll save that for another video we'll talk about this uh, you know live view um, and these live tiles uh, for another video, but let's just jump in to do some uh, gaming performance. So I'm going to go ahead and kick out to my desktop here, and I've got my desktop. You can see I've got you know games that I play on a regular basis um, installed at the top. And uh, you know, like I mentioned earlier, the the under the hood tweaks to Windows 8 have you know done a lot for performance and stability of the operating system, and it's very evident in the gaming. I am seeing absolutely zero. Um, you know, performance degradation whatsoever, which everybody thought was going to be a major problem is, uh, you know, moving over to Windows 8, um, we were going to see some gaming differences. So what I'm going to do here real quick is I'm just going to launch into uh, Battlefield 3. And um, if you remember, I am running uh, 12 gigs uh, of, uh, of, rem uh, of, rem of memory. I have a 3.2 gigahertz i7 processor. And uh, I'm currently running a 590 GTX. I am running Battlefield 3 in maximized ultra graphic settings. And um, really the only thing that I've done to Windows 8 is I've installed the specific NVIDIA graphics card um, drivers for the 64-bit version of Windows 8. Um, and I've installed the uh, creative sound drivers. Other than that, I've done nothing as far as tweaking the operating system or you know, making any changes whatsoever to how the OS um, is tweaked out for, for gaming. It's literally just an out-of-the-box installation. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> I think I have my audio set to, yeah, headphones. Let's switch this and resume game. Let's just go ahead and deploy. And uh, I'm immediately going to go ahead and to do the render draw um, so that you can see uh, draw FPS, FPS, make it one. All right, so I'm sitting at base and I'm getting se uh, 68 to 70. Let me go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, jump in the game and, and drive around real quick and see. Let me turn the volume down a bit. And uh, as you can see, holding steady at above 68. Obviously, I'm not in the midst of any action right now. Um, but like I said, I've got anti-aliasing maxed out. I've got every graphic setting on Battlefield 3 completely maxed um, for this gaming uh, experience and you can see it runs perfect it runs completely smooth you know a lot of people will argue and say oh you know you need you need you know my system runs 120 um, you know frames per second or you know I get 200 frames per second or whatever but honestly when it comes to gaming you know the sweet spot is anything over 60 60 frames per second and above is what you're you're basically looking for you know the eye sees 30 things become more smooth the faster you go. Um, but the issue with you know current um, modern uh, monitors is the refresh rate is too slow for some of those refresh rate uh, for some of those frame rates. So you actually have to you know do the triple buffering and turn on vertical sync, which dr automatically drops your frame rate down in the game. But uh, long story short, I'm getting 71 frames per second. Um, just kind of cruising around. There's a bad guy here somewhere. Let's see where he is. Uh, let's jump out. Probably get shot here since I'm not really paying attention to the game. But um, as you can see, you know, it runs perfectly smooth. You know, I'm not having any kind of a, a complication. There's no hiccups. There's nothing. Um, let's go ahead and take out a couple of these little mines. Step back so I don't die from it. Um, so there, uh, there you have it. You know, that's quickly, that's Battlefield 3. You know, I don't want to spend too much time going any over any one individual game. I just want to uh, kind of bring you a quick overview so that you can see what the games look like. But, uh, you know, in the 50s and in the 60s, with no problem whatsoever. Um, actually, I didn't do a fresh boot before I started. I've been playing some games all morning. But 
I typically see anywhere between uh, 60s and 90s, depending on the map and depending on the severity of you know what's going on with Battlefield. So there, there you go. That's Battlefield. Um, love the performance. You know, I'm getting absolutely no problems. I can play the game without any issues. Um, I've got Deus Ex, same thing, you know, I get perfectly smooth. Let's jump into MMO. Um, I, yes, I have upgraded and I'm playing the Mists of Pandoria. Oops, let me turn that down. Um, and uh, I just actually started playing this weekend, so um, I'm just getting used to the new maps and uh, all of the areas within the, um, you know, the new expansion. I'll go ahead and open up my monk. But same scenario, I'm getting, you know, absolutely smooth, perfect gameplay. Load times are really quick. And, uh, you know, Windows 8 so far has been performing really, really well. I'm actually quite shocked and I'm very happy at the level of performance that it has. I tried just for fun the other day. I tried, uh, actually yesterday morning, loading up as many of the games. If you remember, if any of you have watched my Warcraft vs. Lotro video, I actually had both games running at the same time on this same computer. Um, and uh, it, you know, it worked, actually it wasn't this computer, it was a different computer, it was my old XPS 720, but it worked flawlessly, you know, I, I was able to run two games, so I went ahead and tried that with Windows 8. So I had Lotro, I had Warcraft, I had Minecraft, and I had Battlefield all open, and I did see some degradation of performance in Battlefield, but nothing else. Every one of the rest of the games was completely smooth and, and worked fine. So as you can see, you know what, let me log in with a uh, different character, uh, actually I don't have a flying character right now in Stormwind. So I'll just go ahead and go back into uh, my panda running around um, Stormwind. As you can see, it you know everything runs flawlessly. It runs perfectly smooth. You know there's no screen tearing. Um, you know I get no problems whatsoever while I'm in instances. You know there are quite a few people here that are running around, and this typically does degrade uh, frames per second and and kind of kill your performance when you've got a whole boatload of people that are running around. But as you can see, I'm having no lag, I'm having no issues, I'm having no problems with, uh, with graphics. So World of Warcraft works fine um, and seems to run pretty flawlessly. I could do the same thing with Lotro, um, but uh, let me go ahead and, and load up Diablo 3 here real quick, and then we'll do a quick test and show you Minecraft. Obviously, Minecraft is going to you know, kind of rock and roll on a system this fast. But I want to show it to you because, you know, a lot of people out there are playing Minecraft. And if you have your concerns, well, do I want to upgrade to Windows 8? Am I going to lose gaming performance? You know, that's been the typical. Normally, what ends up happening is you upgrade your operating system, um, you know, from XP to, 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 to Vista, God forsaken. Um, you know, uh, Vista was horrible gaming platform. And then Windows 7 came out and uh, things got a lot more smooth. There's no major issues between going from seven to eight. You know, there's there's no need. So if you are interested and you know you do want to get into some of the new stuff that Windows 8 brings with those live tiles and the new Metro UI, there's no need not to. You know, this is um, working just great. Let me um, let me quickly come over here. As you can see, Diablo 3, absolutely no problem. Um, everything runs perfectly smooth. Let me get into a little bit of a fight here find some mobs but uh, everything is working really well you know I'm, I'm actually really happy this is the first time that I've seen literally an out-of-the-box upgrade that has got you know perfectly smooth performance and no serious degradations and you know I don't know whether that's because of the vendors you know doing their jobs and updating the drivers to optimize everything um, I, we obviously have to give some credit to, Win, uh, to Windows, to Microsoft, because they're the ones who are deploying and, uh, you know, shipping this OS. But, you know, as you can see with the masses and, you know, all the stuff going on here in uh, Diablo, again, you know, have perfectly good performance. So just an example of how it's working. I'm just trying to get down in here real quick, and uh, we saw the fire. We must light the rest, but the demons and find an area where we get a whole bunch of mobs that are attacking. Ah, here we go. But there you go. You know, it's perfectly smooth. You know, no problems whatsoever and uh, everything works great. It 
So there you have just a quick example of Diablo, you know, and I'm dead. Um, Diablo works great and runs, and uh, you know, finally, let's go ahead and launch Minecraft and take a look at this. Um, I've got a texture pack installed right now, so I'll go ahead and put on the default texture pack, go back to the main game, you know, the main texture pack, so that you can see that. Let's go ahead and F11 for it. I'm gonna load up my local server. And let's, uh, oops, wrong one. There we go. So there you have it. Uh, if we hit F3, um, it's loading chunks. Once it's finished loading all these chunks, the frame rate will boost drastically. Right now we're at, uh, you know, 124 frames per second. And there you have it, you know, 124 frames. As you can see, you know, it works perfectly smooth. Uh, we drop back down. And, uh, you know, it just works flawlessly, you know, draws perfectly smooth. And again, it is, it is Minecraft and I know you know, it's 8-bit graphics, but at the same time, you know, it's a lot of rendering. And as we know, Java is a major memory hog and uh, definitely slows systems down. But you can see it works great, you know. Um, so I'm very happy with uh, the performance of gaming on Windows 8. In fact, I originally did this installation as a test. I was going to, you know, go back to Windows 7 because, honestly, I didn't think that we were going to have this much success with it. Um, but I'm actually going to leave it at Windows 8. I like messing around with some of the new live tiles. This is, you know, this computer is by no means my my regular day-to-day -day computer that I use. Um, but I like playing around with some of the live tiles and some of the stuff that the uh, that Windows 8 brings. It's uh, got some cool new features that I'm, you know, kind of getting used to and uh, playing around with it. So I'm going to leave Windows 8 on my on my system for now and. Um, I am going to uh, play around with it because I'm actually very impressed. The games all work flawlessly so far um, from, as you can see, you know, the games that I have installed. So that's it. That's a quick performance, gaming performance specifically on Windows 8 and, uh, you know, how it works. And if you're interested in any other Windows 8 style videos, I definitely am planning on doing a, you know, here is Windows 8. This is what it, what it can do for you type video. Um, so stay tuned for that. And if you want any other type of Windows 8 videos um, or information about Windows 8, then please leave me a, uh, a show note or a, um, you know, send me a direct message, whatever you would like. But uh, as always, follow me on uh, Twitter, twitter.com slash geekwithglasses, Facebook, facebook.com slash geekwithglasses, and uh, like, subscribe, edit, comment, and uh, let me know what you think. And, you know, obviously I was just doing a quick performance video. So I don't want to, you know, and I'm sure I'm going to get them, but I don't need all the trolls telling me, oh, I suck at this game. I suck at that game. You know, oh, your, you know, your character in Warcraft is horrible or your Minecraft world looks retarded. That's fine. You know, I, I, if you think that, cool. And you know what? What is my password for Lotro? I wanted to show this real quick as we kind of went out. But for some reason, my password is not working. There we go. Um... So, you know, keep your, keep your trolls to yourself. It's all good, you know, every now and then I'm still, you know, I get trolls on a day-to-day -day basis for my, my unboxing video of this because I pulled the box out and I called it a CPU on accident, you know. I was in the middle of making the video and I wasn't thinking and I referred it to it as a CPU and I still get trolled for that. But you know what, it's all good because the more trolls I get, which means more people are watching my video and the more money goes in my pocket. So troll away. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video and uh, hopefully we'll bring another one to you with some gameplay for Mists of Pandoria on Warcraft and, um, you know, the new Lotro expansion is going to come out. Maybe I'll get back into playing both Lotro and Warcraft uh, semi-regularly and I can do another Lotro versus Warcraft video because those seem to be pretty popular. But uh, stay tuned for the next video and you all have a great day. Bye-bye. Or not. You can keep watching. Really wanted this game to come up a little faster than that. And load. The graphics on this game are much more intensive than Warcraft, so it takes a little bit longer for it to load up. And there you go. Nope. And...
enter the world. And there we go. Yeah, there we are. Uh, let's see, where are we? We are at Bag End in the Shire. Let's go into the little haunted house. Actually, Bilbo Baggins' house. Alrighty, well, there we go. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching, guys.